How's it going, everyone? I just wanted to talk quickly about the new year of 2021 and what you guys want to see from Home Assistant and from this channel. So what I want you guys to leave in the comments below what you guys want to see from Home Assistant, maybe from the front end, maybe from the back end. I don't care. I just kind of want to talk about it and what you guys want to see from my channel exactly. Like, do you want reviews? Do you want more dashboard designs? Do you, what do you guys want to see? And I will also go over a few things on what I plan on showing on this channel and also what I plan on doing for Home Assistant. Stick around. All right, we'll start off from Home Assistant. First, I want to continue working on the Love Lace cards and make sure that every single one of them are as good as they can they can be so what that means is the thermostat and light cards for example the round round slider ui is not great it you know it's not got a very it's not very user friendly and it's it, you know it kind of sucks when it gets down to a small level so i want to make sure that those are a little bit better in 2021 uh plan is to remove the slider altogether maybe add a vertical or horizontal slider, or just maybe add buttons to its card, it's to the card itself for the thermostat card, you know, plus and minus buttons. Um, but overall, those cards need a little bit of redesign. Uh, and, and that's kind of what I want to do for all of the cards is kind of go in there, polish them up a little bit. Another big thing is I want to continue working on the more info dialogues. So we've recently added two tabs. Some people didn't like that. Some people did. Uh, one to show controls and one to show history. Well, I want to make those a little bit better. Um, currently, the, the design is a little bit dated, um, and I think we can use Lovelace to kind of implement Lovelace designs into those and make them look a little bit better. Another thing would be continually working with Paulus and Brom on the strategies. So what this is, and you guys should like this, so stick around to listen what this is, is their auto dashboard. So what that means is, they will build out dashboards for you automatically. So currently we have a built out dashboard. If you create a new dashboard, it sucks, right? It's bad. What we want to do is make that a lot better so that you can start favoriting ent entities that will show up in there first. You, so you can make areas so that cards and, and view tabs will, will create automatically on their own. So you can keep one of these auto dashboards around and it'll actually be useful. Um, and then you can also add custom dashboards and strategies and then of course the biggest one that everyone wants from me is the drag and drop for lovelace uh, drag and drop and resigns have been you know something i've been working for for a, for a while now and um, you know currently still working on that i have released beta so if you do want that look into the description below and i'll have a link on how to uh, get that it's a custom view that you can install just like a custom card um but the goal would be to get that out in the first quarter of 2021. Now for this channel. Now this is where I kind of want to get into what I want to do with this channel and the videos that I get to you guys. Um, and I started this channel a few months ago and the original goal was just to, to get out home assistant front end stuff to you guys. And it was um, basically just to to show you guys the front end changes and the, in the UI of, of the different processes and the editors and stuff like that. Um, and while that's still kind of the main goal and what I kind of want to make my main focus, I also want to grow it a little bit more and actually start doing reviews on this channel and getting started videos where I kind of help use new users get into home assistant. I want to show people that home assistant is not that hard to get into. I mean, it isn't, if you don't go into the nitty gritty and the, mostly the custom stuff and the random integrations, if you stick to the core integrations of home assistant, it is really easy to get started. I want to start doing different reviews on hardware for home assistant to kind of show you how to integrate those and use those within your UI as well. So for example, cameras, uh, different switches, different uh, light switches that you integrate into your actual light covers, light bulbs how you can use those and then build a dashboard around what you have. Also, I want to continue doing Lovelace des dashboard designs and, and getting those to you all and how to's and how to build those different dashboards. Make sure that you guys can also have a beautiful UI along with your awesome home assistant that automates everything. One of those should be coming out pretty soon, probably in the, in the 
first half of January of 2021. So be looking out for that. Make sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you get those notifications for when those come in. The last thing I, you know, I kind of want to focus on and get a few videos out there for, and you know, other ideas will grow, but custom cards, um, custom Lovelace cards. So a lot of people use these, and I know I just said that you don't need custom to make Home Assistant great, but a lot of people do use custom, and a lot of people want to know how to get into custom. So I want to show my favorite custom cards and how easy they are to integrate into your into your Lovelace design, and how to build a dashboard based around those custom cards. If you guys have any ideas on what you would like to see for the channel or for Home Assistant, please leave me a comment in the comments below. I will make sure to take a look at all of those. I do look at all the comments and I will take every one of them into consideration because honestly, I, I don't know exactly where I want this channel to go. I just kind of want to make sure I'm getting good content out to you all. But thank you guys for watching all of the views, all of the subs, all of the likes on all of the videos are greatly appreciated. And I, I you know, I really love the community for doing that. Um, I really, you know, appreciate Paulus and Home Assistant for retweeting my videos on Twitter to make sure they get the most amount of, of views possible. But I also want to thank Paulus and Home Assistant and Nabucasa for believing that my videos are worth doing that for. Uh, I appreciate that. I've been working with them for quite a while now. And, um, you know, it is nice to, uh, to to know those guys believe in the content that I make. Other than that, make sure to subscribe and like this video. And I hope you guys have a great holiday. Thank you, guys.